LeVar Ball, the architect of Big Baller Brand, gave LaMelo these speeches that propelled him into NBA success as a rookie. Let's talk about it. So there is a lot of lessons that LeVar Ball has taught his three sons. Number one, family is everything. Family is what brings the nucleus together. It, it's, a, it's a great bond and a building block for future generations. He's instilled that with his kids. He's also instilled a winning mindset. Not when you just win games, but how you carry yourself. It's all about the team. It's all about doing what it takes to win. Unfortunately, the old media always has a gripe with LeVar Ball, tries to cast him as a egotistical father. But there's a lot of fathers who are like LeVar Ball. My father was almost like him. He was a different man. He was his own man. But there are similar traits. But I want to show you two clips about LeVar preparing LaMelo Ball for future success in the NBA. And I get it. LaMelo is only a rookie. And he just finished his season off with a bang, with a broken wrist and still recovering and still performed. But these clips are going to prove why LeVar prepared LaMelo for this moment.
17 turnovers. I'm very disappointed in you. It's about the child that you got me on a whole nother zone. I'll tell you your stats so you can see what the hell this is. Two for 10, 10 turnovers. I don't give a you heard it, seen it, read it, or wrote it down yourself. I'm gonna say them out loud so your ass can hear them again. End of the third quarter, your ass got eight turnovers. That's what I'm about to say. You don't have no concept of how you're gonna start the game. The game should have been assists. You're not getting no good shots for people. You're worried about what you're doing. The first one, you launch a 40-footer. Terrible son. I thought you was better than that, man. You think you're bigger than what you are, and you're not. You're not a good leader, son. Because you're not focused on the game. You ain't getting nobody to the league playing like that. Your mind got to be super strong, and you losing it right now. Because you're caught up in the hype. I'm going to tell you this. If you don't want to play basketball, you need to go do something else. As a teenager, do you think your dad puts too much pressure on you sometimes? No. I uh, definitely hear what he's saying, so I gotta play better and take responsibility for the team. With clips like that, I see why LaMelo Ball plays with such confidence, such belief in himself, where no matter what obstacle he goes through, he's able to persevere and rise above it all or what I like to say rise above the hate that's true love of the game and LaMelo Ball learned that through his journey it was never perfect matter of fact it was tough at times but we all must realize this was a teenager going against the grain in some grown man ish not many kids his age could able be able to handle situations like that going to Lithuania and then playing in the GB, JBA league while having the national media syndicates just shit on the brand and everything else constantly every day making fun of you saying you're not going to get picked first saying that you're going to get picked in the second round some were saying that the mellow ball was not going to get picked at all I remember that and now look at 2021. LaMelo Ball is in consideration of being Rookie of the Year. And this is with him missing games due to a, a wrist injury. This is remarkable. But old media is not going to show the clips of LeVar teaching his sons, especially LaMelo, that you cannot win alone that you have to play as a team, that you cannot be accustomed of doing hero ball, jacking up shots, low IQ plays. It's funny, when I do live streams about the Hornets and I critique the play of the team and say they're not playing the right way, Shines would tell me, oh DJ, this is the right way, it's just today's NBA, no. Look at the Warriors when they won. Good ball movement. Look at the Nets. I know it's too, tied 2-2 now, but they have good ball, ball movement as well. Look at the Phoenix Suns this year. Good ball movement. There's no I in team. So I'm glad that LeVar prepared LaMelo mentally on what's to be expected and year two is going to be something seriously let's hope that LaMelo Ball can rightfully have his number one jersey and Michael Jordan please stop with the earn it crap this is a new generation you can't have these young men uh, being treated like it's the 80s it's the player empowerment type of years now so hopefully the organization can build around LaMelo Ball. As for LeVar Ball, shout out to you for being a man and staying on your laurels and your morals. Staying firm on family, not switching up. 
if these buffoons in mainstream media can learn to do for self and not depend on zaddy then maybe they can change maybe they can provide change and create opportunities for brothers and sisters to grow out their life maybe but what do i know i'm just a youtuber part-time youtuber that is shout out to all the fathers you're appreciated you're important and you matter and for those who are listening appreciate your father or your grandfather or any male influence appreciate them while they're here on this earth and for the mellow ball keep rising above the hate and keep proving the doubters wrong this is dj's raw uncut truth giving you the raw content that you deserve to need like share subscribe to the channel peace and blessings to everybody y'all have a good day and I'm out.